Adam Gold here in studio with my friend Linda Craft, Linda Craft and Team Realtors, lindacraft.com. I, like 99% of pet owners, consider my pet, Earl, dog, Weimaraner, part of my family. We actually have conversations with Earl. We feel like he likes our house more than we do, and we love our house. People don't understand how important it is to match your house to the pet. You are very normal because we pet well, lovers. No, you are. 81% of the people in a survey said that when they're choosing a home, they're actually thinking about how is their pet going to live in that home? Mm-hmm. Where is it going to eat? Where is it going to sleep? Can it get outside? Does it have easy access to the backyard? Is the backyard big enough for their pet? <laughs> and so they do consider the home they're buying based on their pet. of people said that they would not move unless they could take their pet with them. So if you're trying to move into like a retirement community that has a restriction on pets, they're not moving. The other interesting statistic was that 31% of people will find a home they absolutely love and they want to buy, but they won't put an offer on it if that home doesn't give something that they need for their pet. So like if they can't have a fence, for instance. And then 12%. 12% of the people actually sold their house and moved to a new one because of their pet. You, and that usually happens with mobility or, or work or that sort of thing. Adam, I've done all four. You came with facts. <laughs> LindaCraft.com slash pets. They also give to Second Chance and Saving Grace pet adoption agencies.